Do re mi fa so la ti do. Do re mi fa so la ti do. <clears throat> hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, the greatest channel in the land. I am Mr. Budgets. Welcome back to my channel, and for everybody who's new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I love. I welcome you with open arms. All right, so I'm about to catch you guys up with my garden. There's been a lot going on. I'm just trying to catch you up. It seems like a, there's a lot of changes that happen daily. And I mean, I'm not able to document it all. Let's see, what do I want to update you on? Uh, what's the word? Where, where did you guys pick off last? Okay, my last video, I picked the watermelon and I put it in the fridge. I still haven't cut it. It's, it's still in the refrigerator. I mean, I'm gonna eventually gonna cut it. Someday, one of these days, have me some watermelon. At this point, I don't even think I want to bite it, take a bite into it. I just want to cut it. Uh, at this point, I think it's kind of rotten on the inside. But I have other watermelon outside that I can cut and perform surgery. So I'm not really too, I'm not really tripping about that one in the refrigerator. My garden outside, man, I believe is dying. Uh, okay, so the other day I went to Target looking for fertilizer. That's where I found fertilizer for the first time. This time they didn't have the fertilizer I was looking for, so I had to go with another fertilizer because I needed something. You know, I didn't want the same thing to happen to my first watermelon to happen again. You know, my plants need nitrogen to grow, to be, to grow big and fruitful. So I got miracle Grow. I've heard lots of things about miracle Grow. It's pretty much the number one brand. When you, if, you're, if you're talking about fertilizer, you know about miracle Grow. So I picked up some miracle Grow, and it turns out I didn't know how to use the miracle Grow. I did not read the directions. And yeah, one second, let me show you. Okay, and I'm back. All right, so I got the miracle Grow. This is what it looks like. It's in Target for, I believe this was only like $8, 10, it was less than $10. Plant food, miracle Grow, yeah. Grows, grows plant, is pl all purpose plant food, grows bigger, more beautiful plants. All right, so that's what I was thinking I needed. I also checked the label for nitrogen because I previously did research and my plants need nitrogen. My soil didn't have good nitrogen. And as soon as I put fertilizer down, everything started to grow. So yeah, my soil lacked nitrogen. This had 24, wait, focus, 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 wait, wait. Shay taught me this, whoa, whoa. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, so I got fertilizer. My plants needed nitrogen. This has 24% nitrogen. So I was like, hey, what the heck? It's $10, let me try it. So I came home, I tried it, I opened up the box. And I was in for a rude awakening. This stuff here does not look like any other fertilizer I've ever tried before. This stuff here is blue. So, you know, I'm thinking, what the heck? Then I was thinking, okay, well maybe if you put this down, maybe it's blue so you can see where you put the fertilizer at. No, wrong. You're supposed to mix this with water before you put it, like you're supposed to put a little bit of this stuff into a whole lot of water and then pour it into your garden. Me not knowing what to do, I just take this stuff and I just spread it all around my garden. Not knowing, I don't know why I didn't read the directions. Let's see, what is, I still haven't read the directions. Lord, I do fill the feeder jar, the top of the label, seat feeder. All right, whatever, but people told me I did it wrong. I showed people what I did and they was like, oh yeah, you did that all wrong. So, and today it's apparent my plants are suffering from that decision, from that, that one honest mistake of not reading the directions. So, if you're ever doing something you've never done before or using something you've never used before, read the directions. It will save you a whole bunch of trouble, a whole lot of time, a whole lot of stress and worry and drama. Read the directions. So I'm gonna take you guys out and show you what I have going on. Okay, so I was looking at it, the correct mixture for this miracle Grow. It's supposed to put one and a half tablespoons of tea. One and a half tablespoons and mix it with one and a half gallons of water. Let me show you what that looks like. Supposed to put a little, you're supposed to fill this little bitty spoon up and put it into a gallon of water. A gallon is a gallon of milk. 
that, that's yeah i totally did that wrong i put a lot of this stuff into the ground so ever since then i've just been trying to water i've been trying to add water 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 i call it operation drown the watermelon let's go out here and let's see what's going on i haven't been out here this morning um let me go ahead and get some water because i know for sure we're going to put some water down and yep i get my water from the side of the house All right, and let's see what we got going on here. Oh man, my plants look dead. They they do. The the leaves, everything is just it just looks sad and depressed. Oh my goodness, yes. Everything I tell you, everything changes day by day. These things are dead. Okay, so this is what I have going on. There are the roots. You see the roots, the roots leaves are looking dead and dried and I guess they had too much nitrogen they had a nitrogen overdose like when I told you I put that miracle grow down I just put the miracle grow into the ground and then I just added water um, this bunch of leaves they were looking good the other day but they're starting to look dead now it's just everything just looks so dead and depressed but my melon here's my big boy let's see I mean, he's still looking good. There's no bottom right, really. He kind of has a little soft spot right here, but you know, he's he seems like he might bounce back. This one over here, this one's looking okay. He doesn't, I don't think that's bottom right. You know, so I think he's pretty good. Um, I have this one over here. You know, there's not, there's no right. And he's pretty firm. This baby, you know, he was looking pretty bad the other day, but he doesn't look too terribly bad. I mean, so I might have somebody pull through. I don't know, I just hope I have at least one of these pull through. These two right there, they're, they're, they're doing okay. So I'm just gonna add water. Um, I don't think I'm gonna add any more of the miracle Grow just of yet. Um, now, Operation Drown the Water, I see, and I have ants. That's a new problem. I'm starting to see ants. That's a problem for me. I don't think I'm supposed to have ants in my garden. And there's like a bunch of ants. So do I put ant killer down or do I just let it ride? Are the ants good for my garden? Operation Drown the Watermelon, I'm keeping the ground moistened. Um, that's what causes bottom rot when the ground dries up. Um, so I figure if the, dry, if the ground never dries up, my watermelon won't get bottom rot. So yeah, I'm trying to keep it as a standing lake. I kind of thought about building a reservoir or digging a moat around the water, or growing, digging a moat around the garden and just filling it up with water. Trying to have it like, trying to have it be like, it'll kind of act like a river or a lake. So my watermelon will always have water whenever they want water. Um, but yep, just water for now. Lots of water, lots and lots of water just to combat, just to override the surplus of nitrogen. So yeah, I try to water it like what, two, three times a day if I can. Uh, when I come home today from work, I'll probably water it again and I'll probably add the little uh, miracle grow mixture and we'll see what that does tomorrow these videos are pretty much gonna start being daily oh yeah I have an ant infestation that's not good I have an ant infestation where are my why are there ants over here All right, that's going to wrap up this video. See you guys next time. All right, and before I go, I'll let y'all take a look at my other watermelon that's I have in the refrigerator. And it's in here next to the grapes, next to the other produce. Yeah, it's been in here for about a week or so. It's starting to, to rot. But I ain't really tripping about it because I have other watermelon growing. This one, I could still bust this one open. I could still cut it open, but I just haven't decided yet. 
soft because this spot is getting a little soft. Yep, it fits in the palm of my hand. But that other one is definitely bigger, so I'm proud. <laughs>